Hi, I'm Tatiana. Welcome to my crib. Today we're going to take you around uh, this apartment that Stefan and I recently purchased in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Probably the best place to live in Canada, and I know I'm biased. Um, but we want to take you around, I want to show you guys because you guys asked for it, you wanted to see the apartment. Um, we purchased this property not because we were really looking to buy something, well I was looking, I was just curious to see what's available and I happened to find this listing, but what really appealed to me is that it's 3,100 square feet. And Stefan and I, we just love our space. We both work from home. Uh, we are homebodies. So to have the space is really valuable for us and allows us to really grow into the home. This is actually gonna be a vacation property for us because we don't actually live in Canada anymore, um, but we do want to spend our summers here. So we're gonna enjoy this place during the summertime and it's also gonna be an investment property as we plan to rent it for the rest of the year. So uh, I'll show you guys around. This is our foyer. We already did a number of improvements in the place. Um, we only had about a month and a half to fully furnish and decorate the place. So we've had been working really hard. I went with a gold and a blue theme here because um, I just really like that look. Uh, so we've got a lot of uh, brass decor. And um, yeah, and we've got this gorgeous mirror over here, 48 inch uh, mirror, love it. And this bench over here where we can store all of Kobe's stuff when we go on our walks. All right, so follow me and I'll take you to our living space. We love to have a lot of light any place that we live. We're always looking for the floor to ceiling windows because we just love lots of light. It's also really great for filming. Um, so this place has floor to ceiling windows all around. Over here we have our wine wall. <laughs> Stefan and I, we are not big wine drinkers, but I guess we'll have to get into a little bit more because we've got to fill this beautiful wine wall. It is kind of a piece of art, but we need to get more wine to fill it up. Over here we have our dining room. So again, went with the royal blue colors um, and the brass complements. Um, also, we have a lot of crystals in the house. We just like the look of crystals. We find them really beautiful. And I love this vase. This is a porcelain vase that I found at an antique store. And these are actually silk flowers that I found just the other day. And I just love the colors and how real they look. And this over here is our living room. So again, the blue and the gold theme is following through over here. We've got our royal blue couch. I added some pink in here just to add a little bit of feminine colors. Um, and we have our, our brass um, coffee tables. These flowers over here are actually from my wedding bouquet. So I dried them and they actually work really well with this room. And over here we have a beautiful photograph from a local artist, Chris Colicott, and he's known for his panorama images. This is actually 100 images combined into one, and it's just the Vancouver landscape. So the city's really gorgeous, and it really lights up at night. I'm gonna take you to our patio now. Uh, Kobe's gonna take you to the patio. Kobe, doorbell. This is how Kobe lets us know, yes, good boy, that he wants to go outside. <laughs> Come on. So this is our patio, just a nice place to lounge. We have this fireplace here, which we've never used yet. Hi, mister. <laughs> and Kobe likes it out here because it's nice and chilly. He actually does not do very well in the heat with his fur coat. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice relaxing place and great to enjoy the views and downtown Vancouver. And this is our kitchen over here. Um, we have these bar stools to match with the dining room chairs, the royal blue color. Got everything that we need, quite spacious. Uh, it's a bit dark, so eventually I do kind of want to brighten it up. There are a number of things that we want to improve in the place, but will come with time. Can't do it all at once. Um, but yeah, it's great, and I've started to cook, so <laughs> bonus. This is our wet bar area. 
So this is where we have a, a little mini fridge and we have our wine glasses and make a drink or two, even though we're not really big drinkers, but when we do have people over, I've always wanted to have a bar cart. <laughs> so as silly as it is, I just loved decorating this and it also matches with this gorgeous mirror. Um, I love how it looks geometric and the shape and everything about it. So yeah, it's another cool, interesting piece. And over here, this is the room that we spend the most time in. This is the lounge, family room, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a great space. It's really cozy. So this is where kind of the theme changes. So over there was more of the blue and gold theme, a bit more formal. And over here, we have a lot of neutrals. It's a lot more relaxing, more peaceful, much more informal. So we've got this really huge TV. No idea what the size is. Stefan handles that stuff. <laughs> We've got this um, porcelain jaguar here. Something unique as well. These also are flowers, dried flowers from the wedding. And we have this huge sectional that Kobe loves. Um, it fits a lot of people and he loves sitting in this middle seat here and get all of the cuddles every day. He's, he thinks he's a lap dog. And then over here, we have our game space. We just got in these awesome pictures. Um, I don't know what to call them. They're actually three dimensional, made from paper. So we've got the queen and the king. And um, we wanted to kind of make this kind of a game space because this is actually a games table. And this is where Stefan plays poker with his friends. These, uh, this table kind of pulls out and so you can store all your poker stuff and put a book poker board on top here. So this is a, a leather top table. Over here outside, we have our barbecue area. So it's nice to kind of have that separate area for a barbecue separate from the patio space where we actually sit down and hang out. And you'll probably notice that there's a bit of an elephant theme going on. Elephants here and it's kind of spread throughout the apartment. I love elephants. I respect them. They're really wise and I love how family oriented they are. They never leave anyone behind. So over here we all have a majestic image of an elephant. And this is our guest bathroom. Here, it's got, got a bit of a low-key vibe. <laughs> and over here we have, um, this would be a, a, an extra bedroom um, slash Stefan's office for while we're here. So it does have a full bath. I feel like I'm a realtor right now. <laughs> We had this custom California closet uh, built in here. Um, reason being is because we've stayed at a lot of rentals and sometimes you stay at a rental that is a two or three bedroom, but you don't really use the other bedrooms because there's a bed taking up the whole space. So we figured it makes sense to build a wall bed so the bed can go up when you don't need it and then you can actually use the space for other stuff. So Stefan loves this because he has all the biohacking equipment here, um, infrared sauna blanket, PEMF mat. Uh, a rebounder, which is really great for the lymphatic system. This is really just great to energize um, and to separate your, your cells. And uh, also he's got this treadmill standing desk, which is a great idea because when you work from home and you're working on your computer, um, it's not great to be sitting down all hours of the day. So you can stand and walk while you're taking calls or whatever it is, or just do your work on here. And then over here, there's this little nook of an office space. So it's pretty nice and got some cool stuff here, some cabinets and a nice little view. So let's head out. We're gonna go around the place uh, over to my office. Kobe, you wanna come? Don't mind the wallpaper here. I did not order enough. <laughs> so we're back in the foyer and we're wrapping around and now we're going to my office space over here. Still want to get a nice art piece here, looking for something that's the right fit. Um, this is my office space, it's not finished yet. I still have a lot of work to do, but um, coming along, we have this gorgeous crystal chandelier here. Um, this has 128 crystals, uh, which again, I just love crystals. I love the look, I love that it comes from nature. Um, and over here I built this gallery wall. I uh, thought it would be nice to just have something in the background, some things that inspire me. Um, I'm all about simplicity these days, trying to simplify my life, really um, respecting its simplicity and honoring that. Um, 
yeah, just a few different things. Got the lion and the horses. And uh, over here, I just have this little corner, um, just some stuff from our wedding. <laughs> it was a sign we had our wedding better together. And uh, my family in Holland, I'm half Dutch, they made this plate for Stefan and I. It's this hand-drawn plate, a picture of us. Actually, our first year uh, of dating together, uh, which was really nice of them. And um, our globe that everyone at our wedding signed, instead of a guest book, everyone signed this globe, which says our adventure begins. And uh, yeah, just some, just some keepsake stuff. We have got our marriage license in here. <laughs> so this over here is one of the bedrooms. Uh, right now we're just using it as a storage space because just got some stuff. We've got our suitcases here, which we're gonna be packing up and leaving um, this week. Um, so we just have a, a, a lot of random stuff in here right now. Um, but uh, yeah, eventually we'll turn it into something. It's got a bathroom and a closet. And uh, I've been a big fan of drying flowers lately. So I've got some bouquets hanging here. It's actually pretty simple to dry flowers. You just hang them for three weeks in the, in the closet and then you hairspray them um, with unscented hairspray. And you create some really beautiful pieces with that. All right, I'm gonna take you to our bedroom, our master bedroom. This is our laundry space, just nice big laundry space. We've got a uh, washer and dryer and we got this robot vacuum, which I despise. <laughs> it does not work properly. It actually makes more mess. So when it goes and it vacuums, I have to go and vacuum after it. So <laughs> it was not a good purchase in my opinion. Um, and now I'll take you to the bedroom. Okay, so welcome to the master bedroom over here. Um, it's a big space. We do want to get a piece of art here. I'm thinking something that has to do with nature, maybe the ocean. I love the ocean. As you can see, we really do like blue um, because I love the ocean. <laughs> Kobe has claimed the bed. We first said no dogs in the bed and he decided, well, he melted our hearts. I mean, part of having a dog is enjoying him on the bed and on the couch. <laughs> Um, we have a TV in the bedroom, and these are all just built-ins. They came with the place, which is great. So this is where Stefan puts all of his clothing, and I've got my own closet space. Um, and we actually got, um, this bed is on a mattress called Essentia. So I didn't really know much about this, but apparently a lot of mattresses have a lot of chemicals that can actually disrupt your hormones and cause some health issues that you may not be aware of. And so we did some research about organic mattresses and we discovered this brand called Essentia. And um, so it's a memory foam or 100% organic mattress um, that we invested in because it is an investment. And I have to say since purchasing this mattress and sleeping on this mattress, I don't have any more back pain. I wouldn't say any more, I have still a little bit, but nowhere near as much. I used to wake up and have kinks in my neck all the time and just, just strange back pain. Um, and it's been so much better. So I feel like the mattress really does make a difference. And because Stefan and I travel so much, we spend so much time in hotels and rentals and they probably don't have the best quality mattresses. So now being able to compare it and sleep in this mattress, we can really feel the difference. This is our bathroom. So it's a quite big bathroom. I love the tub. Um, I actually had this wallpaper installed. Uh, I wanted to do a mural, um, a nice kind of marble geo type mural. Uh, adds a bit of color to the, wa to the bathroom. Um, so yeah, and over here, I've got uh, my vanity uh, mirror. I've always, <laughs> since I was a young girl, I've always wanted to have one. I don't know why. I've always liked doing my hair and makeup. I've just always been like that. And it's nice to have now this little space where I can actually sit down and I can organize all of my products in here. And it's just a fun way for me to get ready in the morning. And for me, it's just a way to tap into my feminine energy, to bring out my creative side. You know, makeup is kind of like art to me and to experiment with different different brushes and different colors and it's just a way to express my creativity. So I enjoy this practice, um, not every day, <laughs> most days I don't wear makeup, but on the days that I do feel like it, it's a really enjoyable and fun thing to do in the morning. And this is my closet. So um, Stefan graciously gave up closet space so I could enjoy this uh, myself and it's nice. It's 
quite narrow, but it's got space. I can put my shoes up on the wall and on my clothes, and it's nice to be able to see all of my <laughs> options. <laughs> so I've basically been living out of a suitcase for the last three years. Um, so it is nice to enjoy some clothing and choose what I wanna wear. So that's our space. Um, it's fun to share that with you guys. But a reason why I share this video with you is to, to show you that, yeah, you can create this too. Uh, a number of years ago, this would have only been a dream for me, um, but now it's a reality. But um, it starts with a dream, and then it starts with the belief that you can achieve that dream. Um, a dream is not going to get you anywhere unless you truly believe that it's something that you can create for yourself in your life. Because if you don't believe that you can, then you're just not going to try. You're not going to take the action steps necessary to uh, turn that into a reality. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have questions or want to know something. Um, and I'll maybe do an updated video tour next year because there's a lot of things that aren't done in this place. Um, and next year when we come back to Canada, we'll have more time to finish them. And then maybe I can give you guys an updated tour. Let me know in the comment section if you'd enjoy that. All right, guys. I'll see you later.